Welcome to Knitting Samurai Plus One. Here I am, Steph, the, also known as the Knitting Samurai over on Ravelry. And here is my plus one, little Mr. Roland. He is freshly fed and changed and hopefully we'll be able to get through a little bit here before he wants to go down for a nap. So he is wearing his pumpkin hat. I don't know if you can see the leaves and the little squiggle and the stem on the top. but. Yes, that's your pumpkin hat. Yeah, so that's, that's what Roland has on. Um, I threw this together quick, so I'm just going to show you what I could grab. <laughs> Thinking, oh, quick, let's get an episode recorded. So, um, last time we talked, I was working on a Elizabeth Zimmerman percentile sweater um, for Roland for an 18-month size, doing um, top-down knit flat with a fair isle yoke, right? So I have since finished it. I used uh, Pattern Works Breton, a knit on size fives, US fives, I believe. It has a 24 inch chest, and I'm a little worried that the sleeves are going to be short, but that's the size they were, that the calculations, the length that they should be. Um, yeah, I'm really, really pleased with how this turned out. So the button's on yesterday, so I knit it flat, and then I went back and picked up the sleeves and did the two button bands, and that was it. It was a really, really quick knit. I think I knit it in 10 days, and I am super thrilled with it. I haven't blocked it, but um, it looks really good. And if he wanted to wear it right now, it would be swimming on him, so... Yeah, it's really soft. It's um, the yarn is I don't know, mostly superwash with some nylon and alpaca in it. So it's great. It's finished. So that is off the needles. And when I finished that, I was so excited with the percentage system. Those that sort of sweater construction slash design. What are you doing? He wants to put there. That's a little easier. He wants to put everything in his mouth these days. So he's seven weeks old and it's like, ah, ah, ah. You go to give him a kiss on the cheek and he's like, I want your nose in my mouth. Puts <laughs> everything in his mouth. Um, anyway, so I was so pleased with how that went that I pulled out my Fiber Knit Style Work, the Cozy Base, which is 100% Super Wash in the Sunday's Coming colorway that I had had custom done for me. Um, and... <laughs> did, oh, you're going to talk too? Did the calculations for um, a two-year-old size or a 28-inch chest. And again, I wanted to do top-down. And this time I decided to make it like this, a Henley style. So knit flat until they join and then knit in the round down. Yeah, so we're calling this his uh, Mardi Gras sweater because it is so bright. Uh, the yellow, bright yellow, purple, and green. And you can see I've done the, I'm done all three sets of increases. This really doesn't look like anything but a blob of stripes right now. But um, I've done the increases and I am about an inch away from breaking off for the sleeve. So this is going very, very well. I'm having a great time knitting it. This is knit on US size 6 needles. Um, the yarn is super soft and squishy and couldn't be happier with it. Um, love the hand dyed look of the stripes. Baby sneezes! <laughs> Bless you, Roland. Um, <laughs> so he also finds the stripes quite pleasing. It's funny because a lot of times he'll lay with his head up on my knee and like down in the crook of my leg while I'm knitting and he watches it go by. He's quite excited by it. So this is coming along. I'm a little worried I don't have enough yarn to finish it. So I'll show you because I am alternating skeins right now. So this is how much I have. Um, I'd say this one's about half gone. So I am knitting the biggest part right now, but I have decided that if I run short, I will be contacting Miss Lisa and say, can I please have some more of this green for the sleeves? But Hopefully I won't run short and I'll be able to to bang this guy out. I am knitting like a crazy person um, whenever I can. But it's fun and I love to knit. So 
right now I've been recording about every 10 days and you can look for me every 10 days. I think that's a good system. I'm not going to do every um, week anymore. I just, there's too much going on for me to do that. But um, for the time being I am knitting like a crazy person and I hope to have good progress to show you. So one last thing, one new thing on the needles. Um, before I get into this, I have been working on the delivery socks, the Harry Potter colorway of uh, three-use twist and fiber, and those are going along well, but they live in the back of the car, so I'm never out and about and stuck without knitting, so until they're done, you're probably not going to see them, so sorry, but um, I did cast on the 55 Christmas balls, I mean cast on all 55, I uh, cast on two I cast on three actually so let me just get to the pattern so the first one I did which was the one I liked the most out of the book thank god I started with that one um was the eight petal rose this is Christmas ball six according to the book and it is this one don't tell me what this looks like I know what this looks like but it's not stuffed yet. <laughs> Once it's stuffed, it'll be a little more ball-like. I need to uh, block it as of yet. But um, So I knit it instead of knitting the balls on four DPNs because I am stubborn. I knit that magic loop. And until I figured out to put a stitch marker in there between what would be the first and second needles and the third and fourth needles, I was having a heck of a time. But by about two-thirds of the way through this ball, yeah, Roland's looking at the Christmas ball. Two-thirds of the way through the Christmas ball, I put in the stitch marker and it started flying along, of course. Because <laughs> there are evenly placed decreases at certain points and the markers told me where and I wasn't constantly reading and flipping and looking and, you know, because the directions, written directions about how to knit the ball to get the ball shape are in one place. And then the chart for the pattern is in another place for the color work design is in another place and so I was constantly flipping back and forth and it was taking forever so once I got the stitch markers in I only had to look at the color work chart so that was great so there's the first one done and I am using um, sensations bamboo and you is the red colorway and the white is red heart heart and soul who cares it's a decoration nobody's gonna touch it and it doesn't have to be soft right so then I did a second one. I am speeding along and he is cooperating. So, uh, sorry if it's not fun to listen to me talk super fast. But there you can see his face a little better. So the second one I did was Christmas ball number 24, Christmas bells. And you can see it there. So there's a bell on each of the four sides. And then this top is just a, um, a little crocheted loop at the top. You can see my white end isn't woven in, but a little crocheted loop at the top for hanging it. So that is the second completed Christmas ball. I am... The next one that I cast on, I haven't finished it yet, is Christmas ball 11, The Secret Rose. And I'll show you the picture for that. That one has a, um, a colorful, a colored base, and then the pattern is the base and the top are red, and then the it's like the others. White is the back main color for the rest of it. So those have been fun to work on. Yes, and I'm knitting them on U.S. tiny needles, uh, 1.5 needles. So. There you go. That, those are my current works in progress. Um, what else can I tell you? I didn't go to stitches. I know I said I was going to. It was a consolation prize, but we just, uh, to do six hours of driving, it didn't seem to make a whole lot of sense. So we're not, we weren't ready for that yet. And we still wouldn't be ready for that now. So I have a gigantic stash. And to drive all that way and to put... Steve and <laughs> Roland through all that just so I could buy more yarn didn't make sense. So no yarn purchases, which is good for me, I guess. <laughs> um, in the mail this week, Roland received a um, hand-knit sweater from one of our friend's mom. So 
she lives in India and we've met her a few times and she was waiting to find out what we had, what we were going to have and then she finally got said no never mind and um, started working on this and just went with white so here is the sweater it is it looks like a yoke sweater to me I'm not sure how she did it but um, in this great white yarn and it has this lovely lattice lattice seed stitch looking lacy bit at the bottom so that is very cute and it came with a matching bonnet actually we could probably put this on you now but um, Here's the little bonnet. You can see the patterning on the side and it matches perfectly. And then booties. <laughs> <laughs> so these are the booties. Unlike the socks I knit for him, these will definitely fit. <laughs> so that came in the mail this week. Um, yeah. What else can I tell you about? We went apple picking last week had a great time he slept through it he was in the okay you okay buddy <laughs> um he's he was in the carrier or in the car seat in on the bob and we picked apples and pumpkins and had a great time doing it and then i came home and made some apple pie so that was great and in the downtime we've been watching star trek Next Generation. I watched it when it was on air when I was a kid, but now I'm actually going through all seven seasons because it's streaming on Netflix. I'm up to season four. My goal is to finish before I go back to work in five short weeks. Um, yeah, so that's that's pretty much the update here. He's trying to put everything in his mouth, like I said, and making noises and being a lot more fun than he was at the beginning. So every day is better than the day before. I think that needs to be my my catchphrase because that's so true when you have a tiny person. <laughs> um, yeah, and his eyes are starting to change color so they're getting a light gray ring around the center instead of being that real deep dark blue color. So that's all I've got for you for this week or this time. I hope everything is going well with you and you're enjoying your knitting time. Take care. Bye.